don't know you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, but, uh, next uh, on the agenda, we'll have a brief presentation on the history of uh, KSL in, in Yemen. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Association of Language Teachers was established in 2010 here in Yambo and is an affiliate of TESOL and ITEPL, which are the International Association for Language Teachers. Uh, like Yambo, we also have other chapters, like uh, the first one was in Al Koba, which was established in 2006. Then we have other four chapters, Riyadh, Jeddah, Yambu and Abaha. These are the offices of our council here in Yambu. We have Dr. Salim Mitani, who is the representative, Dr. Jennifer Abatayo, the secretary, Mahmoud Al Miski, as you have heard, is the treasurer, the richest man in Kassel. And of course, we have Dr. Maram, who is the coordinator in the female group. So this was the opening uh, of Kaisal here in, the in, 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 in Yambo, which was in 2010, which also was graced by our special guest, Dr. Debrou. Uh This was uh, our representative in 2010 giving the speech at the opening. Uh, this was a cross-section of the opening as well in 2010. So let me quickly take you through the pictures. And this was the first general meeting of uh, Kessel here in, in Yambo, which was in 2011. Yes, that was me. I had the opportunity to give the first presentation. Uh, that was the second meeting, general meeting, which was in 2012. And that was our secretary. No discussion, presentations. That was the invitation. <clears throat> of the second meet, first meeting. So this is a uh, history of, uh, in brief, the history of uh, Yambo chapter. These were our members attending annual conference in Jeddah. This was another presentation by Mr. Hamid uh, during the castle meeting part of the presentation. Distribution of certificates to presenters. Lectures, because Castle used to have regular lectures every week on Tuesdays. Uh, that was also another annual conference attended by members of Castle at uh, Mohammed bin Fahad University, Prince Mohammed bin Fahad University at Koba. This is part of the general meeting. This is another lecture by one of our colleagues, Mr. Faraz Birazi. That was uh, another conference attended by our members in Effort University. Yeah, that was the veterans of the fall. <coughs> So this is a pictorial history of Kaisal uh, here in Yambu. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so very quickly, because our special guest of Anna has a tight schedule and possibly he will be leaving. So I would like to invite the, the first presenter for today's plenary session in person of Dr. Abatayo Jennifer, who is also the secretary of Yambo chapter. Before he comes, I'd like to give a brief bio of Dr. Abatayo. 
As you all know, Dr. Abatayo, presentation is going to be on assessing assessment. A test written in creation in, to create payloads. This is the presentation of Dr. Abatayo. So we are going to hear what is all about assessing assessment. Dr. Abatayo is the chairman of testing and development unit of the English Language Center here in Yambu. Uh, he has presented in various conferences, national and international. For example, in TESOL Arabia, TESOL Asia. He has also presented at JALD and KESOL conferences. Uh, Dr. Abatayo is the recipient of 2014 Conference Scholarship of the British Council Middle East. So at this point, permit me, or join me to invite Dr. Jennifer Abatayo for his presentation on assessing the assessment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ilawan. Salam alaikum. Good morning, everyone. And again, thank you so much for coming. I just realized that it's not easy being a part of a committee um, organizing this. Actually, this is just like a general meeting, but we have decided among the team or the members of the Yenbu chapter to just call it a mini conference in preparation for us, like a rehearsal, a, a form of practice. If we could, it's a kind of an evaluation as to whether we, we are capable of holding the annual conference, especially that our president is here. Thomas is here, so we need to give him like an idea of how we run our program and um, lectures and workshop. Okay, for today, um, like what I said earlier, it's not really easy being a part of the committee planning and organizing a mini conference at the same time you are part of the speakers who is going to share or to, to provide lectures for, for the, the participants. But I will try my very best to give you a very good breakfast for today. So Dr. Salim told me if we could go out for a five minute break, but I said after the presentation, then we will have our um, break. I, uh, the title of my presentation today is Assessing Assessments. Are tests written to create failures? Um, this is an opportunity for me to, to share with you my very personal experiences, direct experiences. When I came here in 2009, I got the chance to examine and see language tests run in, in the center or in the Yenba Industrial College. At the same time, I also had a chance to proctor examinations, not only exam English language um, courses, we also have um, final examinations run by the other departments of the college. The goals of my presentation for today, I'll be talking about how to assess our students, what are these assessment tools, because uh, we need to have better understanding of as to whether the assessment protocols that we are integrating in our curriculum and in our center, in our academic environment are vital as to whether these assessment tools are also correct. We need also to develop our awareness of assessment practices and protocols. We need to have good understanding of what are tests what is the difference between test, a quiz, and a practice test? We are all language teachers, but there is a, a very vital information for us to distinguish how does practice test differ from a quiz and how does quiz differ from an examination. So I'll be talking about all these characteristics of effective and a good test. Normally, if we are asked by our coordinator to write an examination, we just face our computers and then start writing test questions without classifying our objectives, without examining and evaluating the distribution of the mark as to whether they match the instructional objectives to the curriculum, the development of our syllabus, the writing of the examination. After asking our students to take the examination, what would be, what should be done next? Here comes the assessment. Failures, washback, and test impact. Failures are there are a lot of things that could really affect the validity and reliability of our tests. For example, administrative factors, student factors, and we also have these affected factors. 